Yes guys, welcome back to the channel. Part two is underway and I'm gonna deliver some good golf, some powerful, fantastic golf. But you know what, if I don't, who cares? Look how amazing this place is. We're surrounded by wildlife. No, we're surrounded by the sea, the ocean, the sea breeze links golf at its absolute finest. I'm at Royal North Devon Golf Club here in the south west of England. And it is the oldest golf course in England. So I was desperate to kind of get out here and kind of see what it's like, take it on, and also just kind of get an understanding of how the golf course could have matured over the years because a lot of short, a lot of older golf courses are generally a lot shorter because they don't have the land to, to use. But so far, it's amazing how well this golf course has adapted to the kind of current climate and the distance that the golf ball and the golf clubs are traveling now. And they've ex managed to extend the holes and make it so, so current as well. And the golf course is busy with people with sheep, with walkers, with golfers. It's just right. great. It's a great surrounding to be in. So if you are down in the area, get yourself out here and play. But for the rest of this video, enjoy what this amazing golf course has got to offer. Finally, a nice drive. Okay, 410 yard hole. I've got 96 yards into the flag. So nice drive, downwind, down the hill, beautiful scenery as you just saw. I'm gonna pitch in, nice and close, hold the putt, crack on. Accuracy wise, not bad. Distance wise, we will see. Felt okay. I feel like I probably hit it a touch short if I'm honest. Let's see. What a glorious hole. What a glorious golf course. What a place. And what a decent shot. Pat myself on the back. Right, this would feel like a nice hole to birdie, wouldn't it? Lovely tee shot, decent second, and a good putt to go. I really like this putter. Might not be giving it back. Robbed, robbed. All right, it's another par though. We're cruising, two over, not counting score, not counting score. Oh, par five, I've come right to the very back tee here. 554 in three yards, 553 yards. What I would say as well, as an old golf course, the oldest golf course in England, it's done amazing to be able to extend its length, obviously with the times. You do see a lot of older golf courses unable to extend their length because of the land it's built on. So Royal North Devon Golf Club has done amazing to extend some of these tee boxes to make the golf course more, more current, let's say, more current. Bad, good bad one. It's a, it's a runner. I feel like I can't. I'm genuinely not sure what to do here. I can see sheep. So if I zap a sheep, 240, flag is 350. Sheesh. What, so I only hit that 200 yards? It's not right. Anyway, I'm going to have to lay up. It looks like it's miles. It does look like it's miles away. I'm going to lay up 120, knock it across. There's okay, prize for the world's least aggressive layup goes to me. Got 155 yards in. Got an A time. Middle of the green. Should draw from right to left with the wind as well. And my shape. Oh, be on it, be on it, stay. That was a good iron. That was a good iron shot. Right. Bounced over the green. Green's quite small actually, very narrow. Oh. Oh. That would have been nice. With my crowd watching. Okay, a little bit right to left. 
glove has stayed on because I'm just so confident that I'm going to miss. That's disappointing, Bogey, actually, I'll be honest with you. I'm a little bit disappointed in myself there. Oh well. Okay, another stunning hole. Hole eight. Coast down the left. Small looking green, 190 yards. Got a little six iron, little high draw. Starting to get my swing going with these irons as well now, which is nice, just as we start to finish. Hold, 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 hold. Front edge, front left, front left side of the green. Go, go. Oh, that's the worst part of hit all day, to be honest. A really nice strike. I just didn't, just didn't hit it. Easy three from six foot. Right, <laughs> okay, uh, hole nine is making me a little bit nervous because there's the fairway. So down the fairway, and there's the, you can just see the flag as well. Down the fairway, we've got three sheep, a walker and two dogs. Oh, four sheep, there's another one there. Uh, but if I carve one a little bit to the right, I've got loads of sheep. What am I gonna do? I might just chip my way up this. This is quite a, do I shout four? Will they move? Do I shout Bleh. Do they move? What's the crack? Oh, I faded it. Oh my god. I'm going towards the sheep. I faded it. It's cut. Oh, oh it's bounced. It's bounced and a sheep had to move. <laughs> god. I'm a bit scared to hit my next shot now. What if they retaliate? That sheep that's looking at us there, he's just turned his head to the right. We're right in the middle. Sheep have stood up. They're not happy. It's the first time I've hit a big fade. It's the pressure, folks. I just can't handle it. There's my ball. Oh, one's having a wee. He's having a wee. Right, I'm gonna ease in with caution. What's he doing? Is he, is he all right? Oh, he's going down on his old horse. I just walk in slowly but surely. Don't attack. Just stay. I'm easy. I'm easy. Okay, never wanted to hit a ball so fast in my life. So just in case anyone's wondering what the line is, it's over the sheep on the left. That's the line. Straight over its ass. Okay, I'm going to hit a fade just in case I top it. I'm very interested to see the reaction when they hear the noise. Do I have to run? Are they going to attack? Are they going to charge? I'm not bothered. Where's my ball? Ha! Huh. Close to the green. Thanks, guys. Thank you. See you all very soon. Yep, yeah, you've seen enough. See ya. So I didn't hit the green, to be honest with you. I wasn't really concentrating. It's true what they say, city boys. We're out of our depth when we're in like in these sort of environments around animals and all this stuff. It's scary. I'm just used to like big concrete jungles. Right, I've got a little up and down. This is for the last, last couple of shots of the vlog. Let's try and end on a bit of a high. I have to zip one in a little bit higher with a bit of spin. Like that. Oh. Well, I mean, it looked good for a while. Okay, that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. And a massive thank you to Royal North Devon Golf Club. I have had an absolute blast being down here filming this. What a beautiful golf course you've got. What amazing surroundings. It's just, it's just perfect. So if you are in the UK and you may be coming down for a little holiday or something, or you live very close by or within a couple of hours and you fancy it, get yourselves down here because it is a great experience. 
For everyone else that's watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed the video as much as I've enjoyed making it. To give you a little insight on what's to come, I'm gonna be heading up to Scotland with a certain Mr. Peter Finch, and we're gonna be playing some unbelievable golf courses. I am, I can't wait. There's some bucket list golf courses in there that if you've never played, you would just, I think you'd just love to see them on camera. Love to see us trying to tackle them. Also try to tackle each other because I'm gonna absolutely kick his ass every single round. And we know that, it's just a fact. Maybe not, we'll see. But guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. Please do subscribe to the channel. And from Royal North Devon Golf Club, see you again. But before you go, watch me not make a par. Oh, it's close. I'll run out. See you guys. Thank you for watching. Love you all.